September 2nd, 2001, a pitching duel between former Yankee teammates David Cohn and Mike Mussina saw New York's Mike Mussina come within one strike of pitching the first perfect game in the 89-year history of Fenway Park. Over eight innings, Mussina did not allow a single Red Sox base runner. Red Sox pitcher David Cohn kept pace, keeping the Yankees scoreless till the top of the ninth when the Yanks would push one across the dish. Mussina's bid was broken up by a clean single from pinch hitter Carl Everett. Prior to this, Everett was one for eight with seven strikeouts against Mussina. The Yankees would hold on to win one zip. September 2nd, 1971, Houston Astros outfielder Cesar Cedeno pops a 200-foot fly ball to short right field in the fifth inning, sending Dodger second baseman Jim Lafave back as right fielder Bill Buckner was coming in to make a play on the ball. The two would collide, and with the bases loaded, Cedeno would collect an inside-the-park grand slam. The hit launched the Astros to a 9-3 victory over the Dodgers. As of August 2011, there have been 224 inside-the-park grand slams in Major League history, 26 in the past 50 years and only eight since 1990. Honus Wagner has the most in Major League Baseball history with five. September 2nd, 1990, Dave Steve, who had lost three no-hit bids with one out to go in the previous two seasons, finally pitched one as the Toronto Blue Jays beat Cleveland 3 zip. It was the record ninth no-hitter of the 1990 season and the only one in Blue Jays history. That was September 2nd, This Day in Baseball.